-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that it was a custom or is that tradition in that village, you know, if they invite you in, yeah. give you food, shelter, they'll yeah. they'll fight to the I death agree. to yeah. In two minutes and they'll put a gun up and fight for you. That's it, man. Yeah. Couldn't walk outside right now. No one would take care of you like that. Here. No, that doesn't happen. There's only one reason why Marcus walked out of there, you know. And to me, that that just carries a lot of weight. Gulab was a guy who basically said, this is my village. I do what I want in my village. If you come to me in my village and you need help, then I will use my custom, my honor, my code of honor, Pashtun Wali. You will be adopted and protected by my village. He did that. These Taliban came in. Taliban basically functioned like mafia, like bullies. He said, give us the American. He said, no. He said, get out of my village. They said, give us the American and we're going to kill everyone in this village. Go for it. And he held Marcus and he saved his life. Why are you doing this for And he stood up to the Taliban and he still does. Talk Taliban, talk Taliban. I had dinner with him two nights ago and it was, you know, I can't think of a more incredible dinner. You know, to hear him through his translator tell these stories exactly the way Marcus tells it in the book. What made him decide to help Marcus in that moment? Did something happen? He says, I knew that he, he needed my help and I knew I, you know, I was supposed to help him, the right thing to do. How does it feel to have a movie made about your adventure with Marcus? Well, first off, the first thing that comes to my mind, I think of it as a very, uh, you know, a good thing that, you know, it shows the Afghan, yeah. it shows their Pashtun Wali. And the other side, when I think of it, is the Taliban. <laughs> they're going to see this, and they're going to see what I did and how I helped. Marcus says that he sees himself in Gulab, the warrior spirit in Gulab. <laughs> and that's very true, he says, because the reason I say that is that everything, you know, Marcus is a very prideful man. He didn't give up his pride, he didn't give up on himself, and he fought all the way through mm -hmm. to where he had to make it through. You know, I just found that so inspiring and gave me so much hope. Uh, just in the world and you know because there's a lot of bad things that happen but there's a lot of there's a lot of people out there that that love people and want to help people and care and uh, just that act of heroism was just mind-boggling to me I'm very happy that he came here back to his country he got married and now he has children to me that is a very a, a mission accomplished for what I wanted and I'm happy that he has a better life